Well, you mentioned rapid testing there, and we've had uh, Dr. Michael Minna from the Harvard mm -hmm. School of Public Health on the show before, and he's, of course, a big advocate for rapid testing, as I know you are. Why haven't we adopted this yet in the United States? And also, could you speak to people that have heard or read in articles that you know, rapid testing is just not as accurate as PCR, and so therefore we shouldn't use it. Can you kind of address yeah. that question really, as well? Really good point, Kyle. Um, Michael and I have been united on this front. He's been the, the real champion. I think in, in, in recent times he just gave up because it was you know, hitting the wall, brick, brick wall. The reason why it hasn't gone forward and where every household hasn't been distributed a, a big set, an ample set of free rapid antigen tests that are so simple and so quick and make the diagnosis of infectiousness. The issue about the lack of concordance with PCR is, is silly because PCR picks up any virus, remnants, virus, copies, whereas what we're looking at with the rapid test is, do you have enough virus mass load to be infectious? It's a totally different principle, and that's the guiding one. So we could be so much more confident about schools if we did this every day with each child and, and uh, teacher and staff and bus drivers. That's one way we could move forward. Many countries do this frequently for free, uh, whether it's Germany, which by the way, they have as much Delta, 97% prevalent as we do, and they haven't had any surge in Germany. Uh, Austria, Denmark, you know, so many countries are relying, Netherlands, on rapid tests, and we don't have them. I think, to your question, it was because we had a vaccine-centric uh, strategy. That would have worked, and we would have full containment now. But then came Delta. 